name is Brian Logan. I'm a trombonist based in Houston, Texas. I play bass trombone with the Houston Jazz Orchestra. Today I'm going to be demonstrating the three Texas All-State Jazz bass trombone etudes. I hope it helps. Okay, so that was A2 number one. Uh, let's get right into it here. Um, a couple of alternate positions that I think are, are, are good. You're going to notice in bar five, uh, the technique is moderately difficult. I play the A in trigger sharp fifth or around there. Uh, you have to find where it is on your horn. Um, and then uh, you, may be, uh, you may be thinking, okay, how does the rhythm go in measure 20? Let's, uh, let's address that. Uh, it starts out with quarter note triplets. Quarter note triplets are three notes spread out, spread out over two beats. And so uh, what you want to do is ask yourself, what is on beat three? Well, the pedal B flat is on beat three. So you have to end up on that pedal B flat on beat three. And you want to have, hopefully have two equidistant notes before that. But there's a rest in there, which makes it difficult. So how I would practice it is uh, to go ahead and play another F on beat one. So you would have do, 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 do. So you would not have to, the rest is what makes it difficult. And you just have to make sure you end up on three on that pedal B flat. Okay, so it's going to be do, 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 do. Okay, I know that's a little strange, unusual rhythm we don't normally see, but uh, I think that's probably the most difficult rhythmic thing in this etude. Um, uh, let's see here. Uh, the Allstate cut is not easy. Um, uh, pretty difficult, actually. You have these triplets that are really, really quick. Uh, I practice those by doing arpeggios up and down the horn. You know, you can just do first position, you know, ba da 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 dee. You know, you can just do those in all, uh, you know, in at least in one, two, three, four, five, six positions probably. Uh, but do those and you can speed those up and that'll help with your dexterity with your fingers, okay? Um, that, the last three bars are a little bit of a bear. You have a couple problems going on. Uh, one is, uh, the technique is not super easy. You might notice in my video, I play the pedal A sharp in X flat sixth. Uh, so tune that. That's my suggestion. You can play it in first, which is probably where most people are going to play it. Um, but uh, I found it easier just to practice that A sharp out in uh, X flat six. So let me talk about my, some of my terminology really quick. Uh, when I say X, that means I'm going to use both valves. Okay. And when I say uh, trigger, I'm going to use the first, my thumb valve. And then uh, when I say V, which is, uh, I'm going to use the second trigger independently. Okay, just so you understand terminology. Um, my suggestion would be uh, that breath in measure 26, you better take advantage of that breath because that's the last large breath that you get before the end. Uh, you have three little eighth rests uh, before the very end of the piece. So that measure 26, really fill up and then just little sips on those little eighth rests. So you can try to make measure 31, 32, and 33 in one breath, but that is not gonna be an easy task. You're gonna have to practice it a lot to be able to do that. Uh, so anyways, good luck on this etude. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Thank you.